November 1st, ready to go snorkeling by myself at Escape Reef, which I really love. I give it a 10 in snorkeling and it's just so beautiful. So let's go. G'day, my name's Paul. Um, I just uh, want to let you know, first off, I'm not a paid actor by any means. You'll soon tell that um, by the footage. Anyhow, uh, I'm just giving Rick a shout out here. About seven years ago now, he asked me, we were having a bit of a talk, and he said, where do you want to be in 10 years? What do you want to do? At the time, I was running a, a reasonably successful building business, um, raised the family, putting them through the school, I had purpose in life, I was earning money, I was helping old people out with their disabled um, access ramps, level entry showers, that sort of thing, so I had a lot of fulfilment and contentment in life. But I, I had to go away and think about it, and I thought, well, I'd love to build the business, uh, maybe then sell it, have a good dose of money in the back pocket, and retire. Most people's dream, I guess. But Rick then said, why wait so long? And I sort of thought, well, why wait 10 years, I guess? So we spoke a bit more about what needed to be done to make it happen faster. And um, we put a five-year plan in place. Started doing what Rick was saying. Um, it involves a bit of work, of course, as you'd expect. Nothing's for nothing. And then I stepped it up a little bit. In uh, three years' time, I ended up buying a catamaran, which was part of my dream. And... Uh, I, I got to a point where I was able to retire a bit earlier and now my office or my home is TAC, which I'd like to show you. Out here this is my my back door, backyard. I'm currently up at Escape Reef, um, North Queensland. Uh, what is it? It's off at Port Douglas. It's not far from Port Douglas. I'm heading further up north and then doing a trip over to uh, Indonesia, all the islands over there. So, um, when Rick asks you, what do you want out of life or where do you want to be? Give it some serious thought and whatever your dream is, tell him and he can most probably help you achieve that. Um, as long as you do as he asks and it can be done. So um, I'm going to go in, in there and collect dinner because it's coming on dinner time. So yeah, just keep rolling, it shouldn't be too long I'd expect. But this is what it's like up in the tropics. Just glorious. I normally do this naked but Rick wouldn't like that. <laughs> Back in a minute. Dinner is served in abundance. Bottle of champagne, fresh lobster is going to be half an hour on, on my plate. Climbing up the mast to work on the antenna. That was one of my birthday wishes is for him to complete some chores and clean up the boat a little bit. And look! Tack! I'm going to call Tack Cat because backwards is K-A-A-T-T. -A -T. Cat! I just noticed when I was in the hammock. But look at blue! Grip paint so we don't slip. But fuck, it gets really hot.
So Tack Cat has a whole new look. Blue. Look at a monkey on top. So it's calm enough to go on top. Oh, look at the moon behind him. Beautiful. Almost full moon. Me say something? Yes. Wow. Well, this is the catch of the day. Escape reef. It feels like a kilo and a half, nearly two kilos. Awesome dinner. Woohoo! So my Pokeball's done with white wine, chilled watching the beautiful water sailing along at two and a half knots and my four dollars a long dress. Cheers! Bon appetit! Yeah, some people say don't load it on a boat but there's no one else in the water and I'm first in so I deem it to be a realistic Turkey Slow boat. and enunciate clearly and louder Nice. Gonna do the lobster, um, just good old Aussie style. Dice it in half, peel it open, get the guts out of course, um, and then sprinkle it with a bit of salt, some garlic butter and uh, melted butter and garlic, and then cook it in its own shell in the barbecue, and and just eat it. I mean, wow, can't wait. My mouth is watering just talking about it. So that's why I'm not filming most of this. So stay, um, subscribe to.